Hi there, this is Erica from the Davy Institute, and this is part two of a three-part video series describing how to use the mobile data collector, which is a feature in iTree Eco. As I spoke about in the first video, once you submit your project to the mobile data collector, you will receive an email with a link that will allow you to access the mobile data collection form associated with your project. So you can forward this link to whomever you would like to be collecting data. You can also use the mobile data collector to update the data within a project. So once you click on the link, it's going to open this up and we just need to put our name in here and log in. Now this is the inventory project. So um, we come up here, we can add trees to our inventory. Hit on the plus button in the top right hand side. We're going to add our species. You have a couple options here. You can search up in this window, and in this case, you're searching by common name, scientific name, or species code. So if you wanted to go ahead and search, you can type in there. We've got our oak tree that comes up here, the species name that comes up there. We can choose our land use, put in comments, or a photo number if you are taking photos. So we want to go ahead and hit save on that one. And then the next option window here is details. So what are the details about the tree? Is it dead? Click there. This has a drop down window for specific categories of crown condition. You can either type in, fill in these other windows by either just typing into the, the open box or you can click on the arrows to go up or down. So it's the same with any of these. Clicking, adding information just by typing the numbers in or by using these arrows over here. And then again, some of them are specific categories that you have to choose from. Once that's all filled in, you hit save and now we can add in the number of stems. So if it's a multi-trunk tree, you can add in multiple stems. What's I, our diameter? Let's just make this a small tree. What height was that diameter collected at? And was it measured? Yes, this was not estimated. Those were actually measured heights or measured dimensions. And we'll hit save. If we need to add more stems, we can do that right here. So you can use decimal numbers if you want. So if it was collected at four and a half feet, you can go ahead and put it in there like that. And then we hit save. So we've got a multi-trunked tree, two stems. So I've back to this window again. We have filled in all our information. Want to make sure we save our tree. And then we just continue on. We want to add more trees. We can do it there. If we want to take a look at a list of our trees or if we want to delete a tree. So our list would be growing here as we add more data. If you want to delete it, you can push on that button right there. All right, so that is what an inventory project looks like with the specific data fields that, that we chose. Let me show you real quick what a sample project would look like. The data collection form. So now we've, we have specific plots that we can put our information into. And again, you're just going to click through. Um, here's the size. Here's how much was measured. What's our canopy cover? Was the center of the plot staked? So that you can come back and find it later. All right, so once you have all that information, um, then you can put in your trees. And you can mark the plot as complete. And then you can move on. Then you go to your next plot. Do the same thing again and again. I wanted to show you up here in the settings. So we have a setting options here. If you're tired of seeing 10 items per page, you can increase that. If you want to go ahead and you've, um, you're going to be collecting circumference, you can change that. And if you would rather see a scientific name, you can change that. This is where you would submit your data. You would hit submit. You're going to only submit once and your data has been submitted should pop up. 
The reload project option is used after a project has been changed and a new link is emailed to the people who are collecting data on a mobile device. Once that link is clicked on and the mobile data collector opens, the project will need to be reloaded. Please make sure to submit any data prior to reloading a project as any unsubmitted data will be lost. If you need to see the project key, it is here. And our partners are listed on this page. All right, so you want to make sure that when you're doing this that you submit your data often. Although you can collect data without internet access, you can only submit through Wi-Fi or a data plan that allows access to the internet. Please do not leave your data unsubmitted, which leaves it in your browser's cache for extended periods of time, as this can lead to lost data. And again, when you're submitting the data, you want to make sure you only hit that once and under a solid internet connection. So one more point I want to make about this is that although this is um, was designed for mobile data collection, you know, a smartphone or a tablet, as you can see, I have been using this on a computer. And what this allows you to do is if you have collected your data on paper forms, you can then have multiple people inputting that data. Um, and it, so you're going to divide up your paper forms, make sure people are not inputting data into the same plot or inputting data about the same tree for an inventory project at the same time as that can cause problems. Um, but this is a nice option um, for if you have multiple people, if you're fortunate enough to have multiple people inputting your data um, for um, each for the individual project you've created. All right, in the next video, I will be covering how to retrieve your data. I have also created a supplemental video that I highly encourage you to watch because in it I outline most of the sticking points that we are aware of users coming across while using the mobile data collector. So thank you for your interest in iTree. Um, of course you can find us at itreetools.org and if you want to find, um, if you want to email us at support, it's info at itreetools.org. All right, until next time, take care. Bye-bye.